Welcome back. Going on police. Something strange here. Wait. <coughs> that appears big. I don't want to have to fight it. You fight it. We have to see. Why do you no? Because you're just gonna piss it off somehow. Claim wars. Claim wars might be useful. Bags are good because they're not know where I'm going. Hungry things. More flags. Over there. You don't want to eat me, leave me alone. Oh, well, don't do that, silly man. You hostile? Oh, those things fight each other. Okay. Oh, that's certainly not anything good. That is a demon eating something. Sounds a bit weird out here. I'm going to change filters, whether it wastes a bit or not. Ow! Pissed off by now, and we've gone away. Well, that's clearly not telling me the exact way I need to go, which is fine. It's annoying still. The expected flags were proper direction. to go or is it death? Here. 
demon there, those things there. It's the demon is the way I'm supposed to go. Does he come and attack? trying to eat me or are they just little creatures that don't hurt me? No. Wherever you are, I don't want to hurt you, but if you try and hurt me after a few deaths you will end up dying. Ow. I want to fight you. Come on, health regen. So, it's almost as if the sound keeps cutting out. Why do you come over? You weren't hostile to me for ages. You meant to just leave me alone and be running away from whatever else. Just scared off. Leg it to the big guy. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Check up here. Nope. Nothing. I don't really want to go in the cave, but looks like I have to. Massive bullets aren't going to hurt that shit. That's just scary. Well, not scary so much as I just don't want to fight it. Now the question is are the little bear cubs hostile? And if I shoot them, is that what makes the big thing angry at me? And it's not actually angry at me by default. Hello, little dark one. Are you going to explain? I'm just going to maybe go down into this massive arena. It's full of water to slow me down. Watch out! No, I've done the face. How can you not felt?
things after me or after it? She protects her back. Vulnerable there. Shooting it in the face is, gonna, is doing anything to it. How the hell am I going to get on it in its back? Why aren't they jumping on it? any form of a plan, mainly because I don't have any plan. One, it was hostile, and then killing it meant all the others were hostile. Unprotected sections of the body. Oh, loads of ammo again. Yes. Oh, I wish I could shoot at it from here. That would be much nicer. Obviously, I can't. Nothing to watch out. If it hits me, I press E. I can't run because of all this water. Hits me. Hits me again. One little things. Leap on it. I have to try and stay on dry ground. You're all behind it. Eat her. Eat her. It just keeps hitting me. Her whole back, or I don't understand. Come 
hurting me. But I'm not sure. Or at least, I'm not really sure how much I'm hurting it. Because it's still damn nippy. Certainly hurt there. I can see that much. Oh. He's in the tree. Job. Sure. No, don't, don't go for me. If you go for me, all of them go for me. If I kill it. Because you want the kill. Certainly not dead. Run faster, please. Get off me. Why are they all trying to kill me? have to clip. Can I actually run out of here? I think there is a way out. Well, now I'm probably going to have a problem because I killed one of the things. One of the watchmen. Some monsters have quite strong shells, trashing unprotected sections of their bodies. I was with a lot of bullets. I want any little bitch. Watch out. How that doesn't hurt. Okay, let's just try just running at first. And see if they eventually just get here. Keep running, running, running. Running over here. Cheap. Water. No. Keep running. One watchman, start eating its face. Ugh. And... Why have you jumped on it yet? Do I actually have to do damage to it first in order to make you jump on it?
spawn more loot. Jump on it, don't make me waste ammo shooting it if I don't have to. It's always there. I always get through the water. water. I always get hit. Alright then. God, it at least doesn't do tons of damage. Jesus, bloody water. Keep the flex of back. Full moon will there. that come on I need to queue and I need to shoot Many bullets left in the game. It's five times now. actually 
dead this time. Oh no. One of them started hitting me, I think. Ah! Fuck off. Now I don't think I can kill you. No! Not steam! I want to run and I want to bring up that. nothing I can do now that they, the other guys are hitting me as well. I've got no med kits, I can't melee them to death. I don't understand how to do it. Alright, well, I'm going to edit that. Pick it up. Okay. Went to my flame more. Nice one. Oh, she actually dead. Yeah. I believe so. Alright, so now I'm out of all ammo, all military grade rounds, all knives. All secondary stuff. The only thing I've got is a med kit. What are those bullets then? They're not. Right. I don't even know what those bullets are. The ones I've got six of. Way, I can't kill her. She just won't actually die. There's nothing I can do. Welcome back, YouTube. You can see it. Other many attempts, I've taken a break, had something to eat, watched an episode of Day 9 Fun Day Monday. Now we're going to kick some ass. Watch oh, out. I want to get that first. Never mind. I want that, and we want to do that. Really quickly. Um, over here. Do that. And another claymore.
I may have learned that where I was shooting her before is incorrect. Apparently just no fur bloody gap isn't a weak spot. It has to be the glow bit. You'll see, so I won't, I'll like put in little clips of glitch that I managed to find and what happens when if you've killed off all the watchmen then uh, she just stops being able to be knocked down where's she going? oh she's taking enough damage now oops now oh, the watchmen are going to hate me end of the world. Yeah, how much easier was that? Didn't take anywhere near the 300 million bullets I put in her before. Well, I do actually need to quickly pause. I will be right back. And we're back. easier than I thought it was <laughs> from the previous attempts. Hope you enjoy the little Thank snippets you. that I include from the other fights and the glitching and stuff. Thank God you're in one piece. And you brought a friend. What is this? Art, yes. this kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is, so it is. A child of the surface, a dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller! Then get it away from me! No mask. I should have known. <laughs> this one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a You're red. It seems he is adapting well. Yes, that will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Come on, Miller. Put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. <laughs> My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too. You go on without me. For I give into better judgment and rid the earth of it. Rid the earth of you. How is this? Oh, oh, I... I can understand his thoughts, and I can hear yours, Artyom. You? Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. Do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can oh, no. hear them all these. <laughs> Wait, that looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, an exhibition. Has a strong lock too. We've yet to break it. What's there? The people. They're inside. Sleeping. Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death... nearby... all around. But I must wake them, or be alone forever. Now listen. 
Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hmm. Hey, wake up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work. All right, Miller. Come on. Up. Can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Good, good. Follow me. Right. He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First, he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbett himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Finally, at least for me, maybe not so much for you, I don't know how long this will be, but finally the end of that bit. And, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next part.